Hello and greetings. Good morning, 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 or whatever part of the day it is when you're viewing this. You know, something I really like about our culture is the multiple mornings. If you're a Trinidad, you know, you've been to Trinidad and you've heard the mornings. I, I really like how, well, to be honest, I'm not sure if it's a Trinidadian or Trinidad and Tobago thing, or if it's more of a Caribbean thing. We don't hit you one morning at a time. Like, I have a neighbor, he hits you four at a time. You tell him good morning and you get morning, 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 morning. <laughs> Just to make sure you hear it. Well, today, what you'd be seeing is an interview I did yesterday. That would be Sunday on Gael TV, Gael the Caribbean. And Gael is also internationally available. It's accessible internationally. And also on every landmass in the Caribbean, Caricom or not, Gael is accessible there. That's what I was told, except for Cuba. And I have an offer to be able to see my contemplations or to put my contemplations on a slot on Gael daily. I just have to get them into this nice landscape form and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I had an interview there yesterday and I think the interview went well. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And I would attempt to put it into a bit of chapters. So if you would want to skip past some of the other questions, you could see into it it's nearly 40 minutes long so it's a bit so i hope you enjoy it and <laughs> also with it if you're hearing something if you're on the podcast because this would be going also on my podcast yes yes we're, we're improving we are moving places this would also be going on to the podcast so if you're on the podcast and you're hearing some talk in the interview and you're wondering what they're talking about in the video you would see that <laughs> Coming down to the end of the interview, I was sweating profusely. It was warm and I am an easy sweater. So, yeah, if you're hearing some some talk about that, that is what that was referring to. It was warm and I started to sweat a lot. So, I hope you enjoy the interview. And Today we have the guy with the opinion. <laughs> he have an opinion on anything and everything and the elders say, because it's not only me alone choosing this and it's not only me alone saying that he, 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 make, he make the cut. But the elders say they like him because he is balanced. He is fulcrum. I'm going to show off from a little physics now, boy. You know I get a popular one, five in physics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, so, at least it was graded. Yeah, yeah, it, it could it, be ungraded. It, it could be ungraded, right? <laughs> so he's very balanced. Um, so, later. Yes, sir. So, wait, wait, yes, so ladies yes, and yes, gentlemen, yes. the host of Under the Radar is Ziggy, otherwise known as Andrew Dillon, now my parents call me, not so, but he is calling me yes. so. Respect, respect. Respect. Okay, guy with the opinion. <laughs> I can cool. So, tell us a little bit about Nathan. A little bit. Well, Nathan, wait, oh, 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 let's see that already, eh? He's looking across, so now, you know? <laughs> Let me, let me explain the looking across. Yeah, because good, go ahead. Ne what I try to do is contemplate. Right. You're thinking. So sometimes when you're thinking, you kind of have to look into the beyond. You're trying to pull the thoughts out from the beyond. <laughs> so that's a bit of a... So a little bit about Nathan. Right, okay, cool. Nathan... You feel free to look, eh? You feel free to look into the light. And so, <laughs> no, let me look Nathan is a millennial generation Trinidadian who has a lot of opinions and a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I, I was always a curious person. I like to find out things. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm fast because I ain't really curious about business. I was curious about knowledge. I like to know things. And I, it seems like I have a bit of ability to talk too. So the combination of knowing things and talk made Nathan into... I remember in secondary school, I had some friends who used to say Nathan is the encyclopedia. So you would just go and ask me random... For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because since I was young, I just like random information, to be honest. So, that's kind of who Nathan was. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 you don't know weekend in your brain? I can't tell you. That is the weekend. <laughs> that is the right to you, working, 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 working. My, my brain likes that kind of always firing and always trying to figure out something and think about right, something. Right. You, 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 you're talking about secondary school, mm -hmm. primary school. I wanted to find out if diesel does burn now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I go down underneath, I go down underneath my, my parents' house. They now build our house, right? Upstairs and downstairs. Oh, downstairs is pillars now, boy. Yeah. And I, like, 
chip up some wood, bush and stuff. And I chose some diesel underneath the people and them house, right? Under the house. <laughs> under the house. All right. And I liked it now, boy. And it was like diesel, ladies and gentlemen, tell me a little bit about the, no, taxing them here. What's the difference between diesel and gasoline? All right. Gasoline is combustive and explosive to some extent. So if you scratch a match next to gasoline, you are going to find out. But that doesn't mean that diesel is not flammable. Very well. And I will continue, <laughs> right? So ladies and gentlemen, diesel is take a long time to burn. The only reason why I'm going on this on, on this little dive, like what were you all looking for? Tangent. 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 You see? Woo! <laughs> I can walk around with you. I can walk around with you. Right, so going to going around this tangent is you said you like to find out stuff. Yeah. So bottle of diesel, chew it on the wood. Taking long to light up, yeah. but eventually it lights, yeah. and it light light. <laughs> it really light. Yes. Yeah. So I decide to take water and chew it on the diesel. Oh, that work. <laughs> and the diesel flow. Yeah. And the fire spread. Eh? And the fire spread. <laughs> whoa, we, whoa, we. So that that was just my little tangent, ladies and gentlemen, on finding out things. Yeah. Um. I, I went down Maruga. Wait, where were you from? From as in where I live now or originally? Originally. When I was born, we were living in San Rafael <laughs> Arena. <laughs> you know where that is? <laughs> arena. <laughs> Not Arima, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get too excited. People in the people who probably say, I'm from Arima. No, it's not from Arima. Arena. 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 That is in the back of La Hoketa going yes. close to Brazil, right? right. Where it right. had a damn long time. Right. That you right. could have go with a picnic and this that the other. But mm -hmm. that is not there no more. So you was in Arena. I was. And so I had that nice jungle upbringing. Right. And I feel that piqued some of the curiosity, right, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, you know, yeah. you, you have a lot of expanse to Please, explore yeah, as a little yeah. child and freedom to explore too. Then I moved to Takarigua, right. Square in these, busy. Yeah. Then I moved to Karapichaima. Yeah. And I moved twice in Karapichaima, so I live in Waterloo now. It's Waterloo now. Now I am officially a Waterloo man. <laughs> What's with that mean? What the loo? <laughs> but we back to you, Nathan. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and ladies and gentlemen, the number is 225 Feel free to call in questions. Yes. I started to follow you because I started to do this now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think in early years. Yeah, it's going back. It's going no, back. you cut yours. What happened? Talk to me. Well, honestly, I just. I just feel to change it, right, just right. how I felt to twist it, right. and then sometimes I feel to change it, and I mean it's here, it will grow back, okay. and when I, when I catch it, I see some people, it's like they're missing the guy folks, mustache and things, so I was like, okay, it might grow I back. I go and cut mine and never put it back, because you was, you was inspiring me, uh, and I get that. No. Uh, some, some, something else you inspired me on is, you seem to have a finger on the pulse of Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that a little bit. As, as I said, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. And I, when it, when it comes to finger and the pulse, I don't think my finger is on the pulse of Trinidad and Tobago alone. I try to be as much on the pulse of what is going on in the world as much as possible. Right. Because I find, personally, mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're able to understand what is happening with any situation, you're able to orient yourself better with the situation. You're able mm -hmm. to know how to rectify the situation. You're able to know how to move in the situation. Mm -hmm. So, I've all, in our family, watching news every night was always yeah, a thing. a must. That always a, must. a thing. That is a and must. Which might be strange to some people. I would be the kind, I watch the news, and anytime I don't know something, I even go further and find out about right. it. Right. And then I would notice. There are many things that answer in questions that are obvious questions people keep asking. Right. And the information is out right. there, mm -hmm. they just don't know it. Mm -hmm. Because at some point in time, well, I'm still a teacher at, at some level. I right. teach lessons, I tutor and stuff. So I think even in the teaching sphere, everyone is curious, right. just like me. Everyone mm -hmm. likes to learn mm -hmm. stuff. It's just how you present it to them. Some people, the, the, the manner of which, in which they were presented knowledge and information since they were born, turns them off. Exactly. They don't want that information in the way that you're presenting it. Mm -hmm. But 
the answers for the problems they have are in the information. Mm -hmm. So if you could get them to see how this answer is in this same information, all of a sudden information that was once boring and who going to listen to this? Somebody sitting and watching 25 minutes of basically a university style lecture mm -hmm. and they're like, wow, mm -hmm. because it's telling them an answer to the directly the problem. Mm -hmm. And I think as you talk about on the pulse, I think that's a bit of it. Trying to find an answer for an obvious question. Mm -hmm. And that's how you're on the pulse. What are some of the obvious questions that you think Trinbegonians are facing right now? In the specifics, we have the migration. Migration. Migration is massive. I believe the Venezuelan migration in Trinidad has already permanently changed Trinidad. Mm -hmm. Permanently. Our culture. And we're not having that conversation. No, we're not. And it's a. As with many things, one of the one of the one of the things I try to point out is many issues are way more complicated than you think. Complex. They're extremely complex. So layered. In the as you talk about the human problem and human side in the Venezuelan issue, these people are human. And if you think if you put yourself in that position, if I was in a country and of no fault of mine the country going down and you're living in an island paradise, the distance of Arima to Takariwa mm -hmm. across the sea. Mm -hmm. I will try to make it to walk. I will swim. I will walk. <laughs> Let flood happen. Yeah. In China, in 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 in, in um, Arima, and Maxi can't. You can't reach from Cuba to Arima because only Maxis decide they're not mm -hmm. working. Maxi drivers, we're not doing that again. Right? But <laughs> again, my yeah, but they're not working. Yeah. However, people will walk. Yes. And that's the human side. But then, on the human side, there's the reality that Trinidad, when it comes to resources, there are limited resources. Right. And if you bring in needy people at a large number to a small island like Trinidad, there could be some imbalance. And the imbalance generally happens in the lower sectors Sector. of society. Exactly. exactly. So sometimes, to me, when I hear sometimes wealthy people talk about the human side, I could squint a little bit because if you want the human side, then you need to take the consequences of the human mm -hmm. side too. Yeah. So that's one issue, immigration. Right. The next I issue. three. I should mm -hmm. have put up two because I recognize it could go on I and on be. now, boy. Right? Let me pop in that and add a little bit. I remember when I <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. I remember when I now started doing some of my pieces on TikTok and stuff. Right. I was telling my wife, I'll never run out of content here. Yeah. Like some people wondering, how, but you still make yeah. I'll never run out of content. So she probably real happy. Side note again, she probably real happy she will marry you. Because women have a problem with men talking. He don't say nothing. He just sit on there and watch TV. But you look like you're gonna have that one and more boy. She, she, she would disagree with that. <laughs> because I might talk plenty there. But yeah. I, as I yeah. said, she kind of introverted. Oh my excited. gosh. And it doesn't understand that, right? We didn't come to talk about this, but my yeah. command, they don't. you would, would have a persona outside. And all of a sudden, you in your peace. <laughs> You're not calm. I, You're not saying nothing. She, you know when you was with right. X, Y, and Z, you were talking. <laughs> she, she, she complains on her. She, she, she tells me, you know, plenty of people watch you and think you're real talk. Yeah. Well, it really happens. So, the second point. Very good. Let me pull point. myself out of that hole. Go I ahead. think the second part that Trinidad ha is facing is the discussion of the freedom versus safety with the COVID and the vaccines and all of that that came. Freedom versus safety, because there is a balance to be had. Mm -hmm. If we have, if we have to try to get safety in our society, there are some rules that inhibit your freedom, mm -hmm. like the speed limit, seat belts, etc. Exactly. Et but there's a line of how far you go with this, with those rules, mm -hmm. and stop it there to allow for freedom. Freedom, exactly. So. And I think in Trinidad we are having a bit of bounce on that because remember we would have been formed as a colonial country. Yes. As a colonial country, your freedoms are just about zero. Zero. And the safety of you is more about the safety of the main head. Yes. So the, the, the balance of freedom and safety always in Trinidad was off. And that is why I think, you see, what we call the gimme gimme culture in Trinidad, mm -hmm. where everybody in Trinidad wants a handout. And why they want a handout, go and work. That comes because of how we would, how this country was formed. formed it was built. formed yes. with the idea yes. that 
we will hand you what you need and you just work for us. And that level of dependency, the hierarchy needs it. Yes, and they would put systems in place for you not to be independent because as soon as individuals in a society recognize that we don't really need you, we just need you. <laughs> You're seeing my stuff there. We, we, we just need you to kind of steer the boat. But really and truly, we are the engine. When that start happening, a lot of quote-unquote hierarchy structures will fall. Mm -hmm. It have a lot of stuff that we are fed. And I've been real careful when I say here. <laughs> we are fed. We, we, we are enticed. We are coerced mm -hmm. to think of our culture, but really and truly, it's just a tap into our blood veins and they are sucking our energy yes. and building their empires. You're saying, you're saying probably stuff I said a million times over. I remember one of the comments in one of my videos, mm -hmm. a guy told me, um, if you so know all the problems, why you don't make a political party and run for elections? I said, what I think is the problem. Is the is the thought that in order to find the solution you have to make a, a political, political part? Mm. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know, right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a boom mic. This this whole show have a boom mic, and the mic is closer to Nita because points in this show I just raise my voice real high. Yeah. <laughs> to put it mildly. <laughs> to, to, to put it mildly, the master control says, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, if I could give a general overview of what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to give people the tools to increase individualism. So, I think the key to solving just about nearly anything is individual ability. So, mm -hmm. one of the reasons to get into the politics side of it. I don't think like things like the socialism style and communism and all of those work is because you're trying to get a group of politicians, one group of people millions of miles away to be able to tell what is best for the whole country. For the whole country. That is impossible. Each individual, ha like if you think about it like a computer and each individual brain has processing power. Right. The processing power of 1.4 million people in Trinidad would always be more than the processing power of the 40 people in mm -hmm. parliament mm -hmm. or how much of in parliament. So, what you want is every individual to use it that brain power. 40, plenty of them doesn't go. <laughs> so don't worry about it. You can say 40 and feel comfortable. <laughs> if everybody uses that brain power, mm -hmm. there's a lot more to go. Mm -hmm. But many people really easy. I remember. So, no, 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 no. Just now. Do a brush the over that. Do a brush over it. It's the same topic. Do a brush over it. I, I, want, I want to say it with you. It have a quote. Okay, say say a quote. From uh, a philosopher. Right named Jay-Z. Right. In one of his songs, he <laughs> said Jay-Z, a philosopher named Jay-Z. He said, he's trying to teach these people right. how to be kings. Mm -hmm. And all they wanted to be was soldiers. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of that because it's a lazy person finds it easier to be a soldier than to be a king. It, ha it is so much easier for me mm -hmm. To work for something than to build something. Yeah. And funnier, funnier, it have a set of people, a set, not one, not a whole <laughs> set, but a set of people that builds yeah. and blinds us with a whole set of fun to, to not, for us not to see how easy it is to build. <laughs> it is very, very easy. easy to, especially in Trinidad and Tobago. Why? Tell me why. When I walk down Charlotte Street, a Nigerian man is offering me to sell me jockey shorts. How? How? I, I heard somebody talk about this. They were talking about in the States, but it's relevant down here too. Mm -hmm. They said in their, in their community, they knew quite a few drug dealers and they say they're doing this drugs because it's a necessity. They're trying to make money and the hustle. Yeah. And they say they knew someone else who would go import a cheap box of t-shirts when a band come into play in the area, go and talk to the band, print out some things on the t-shirts and hustle that. And they were driving a BMW out of that hustle. Mm. Sometimes we are blinded. You think that the only way you could create is in this small box because that is what you think. That's like what you see and that's what the old. That again, is, it goes down to exposure. 
we are glorifying certain things mm -hmm. and people are seeing you are seeing the bad side but you're also seeing the good side in it and if you don't take the time to show the other stuff like that fellow who printing jerseys and, and, and mm -hmm. next five ten five months because you could you could do that within yes or within a year time or no yes you can you can and I'm bunk interest is a kind of a <laughs> thing you know friend listen I, I i made a contemplation about that too i love how i look around trinidad now and it seems like the younger generation not under kind of only looking to work for other people right, business. Right. everybody is an entrepreneur and some people make fun of that but right. i don't like the fun of that i like that everything in your life you run like this is my thing i am an individual i am making this product do it right though yeah, of do course. Do it right. Of course. Do it right. Do it of right. I, I want people to do it right. Because we make any money. You didn't, you didn't even finish your point yet. Eh? But we make any money. But funny, eh? Funny. What we doing? We taking the resources that to build ourselves. Oh. And then after that, we go in and put it right back into the hands that suck your blood. <laughs> on that. As I say, I could go the content on right, that. Right, right, right. On that. For example, and this is where the knowledge comes in. Right. And what kind, what I kind of try to do, if you could give people some of this knowledge and they could figure out certain things, they, they and all could change their actions. So, for example, if the government gives you money, and this is what some people don't understand, the government gives out, like during the lockdown, the government gave out something to help you yeah. stay alive. If they give you cash just to stay alive, all that cash is going to be spent in stores. So all the cash the government, and bear in mind, when the government gives you money, Tell them. They, they take it from you, okay, look, have that, yeah. and when you get that back, you are going to spend that yeah. in this business. So basically what they did there is they take, took from you and gave to them, yeah. and, the value, and ends up, cash me. the value ends up accumulating up right there. there. And sometimes it's not just, because on the government side, many of my videos criticize and so to let people understand what is going on here. On your side, you have to have the individual knowledge to make your choices too. And that's where the knowledge and comes in. That is why you are on my show. <laughs> because I'm seeing that you are, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to say tribe. You are putting out there, ladies and gentlemen, you need to be wise. You need to be wise. So the social economic structure of Trinidad and Tobago would not change if our mindsets don't change. And the funny thing is, as years go by, you'll recognize certain sectors will always be dominant, but dominated by certain people because their mindsets, their mindsets are there. And if you don't take the time to get the knowledge, to get the information, to shift there are people who don't know, know that. they yeah. never know that. that you know. A dollar is to spend, the whole dollar is to spend. Like Mind that. you, the dollar that you get, you have to spend the next dollar too. So you're spending two dollars and you only have one. Correct. And that is how people Correct. live in. Correct. And they want and have a system that wants you to do that. Yes. Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. um, can we do the third thing? The third thing, the third problem. So, the first was the immigration. In immigration. Yeah. No mind you, eh? Trinidad and Tobago have a lot of a lot. issues. And I, I, I don't want to say problems, per se, as in we nagging, but they have a lot of issues. I tend to say the person to solve this issue is not the pundit, it's not the imam, it's not the pastor, it's not the priest, it's not the politician. It's you. Yeah? So when you, when you hear we talking about this, this is a gentleman bringing solutions to problems the thing that he's doing right now is bringing solutions to problems yeah mm -hmm. right the third thing other than the immigration and the battle between the freedom and safety yeah. i would say is education educating the young for example, what is education? Good. <laughs> very, very good question. I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. In 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 um, Afghanistan, the Taliban. Twenty years, whatever the geopolitics aside, twenty years you were there, and they still couldn't get long term change. Change, right? Because in I, I I can't remember the exact place, but one of those wicked authoritarians over the years that mil murdered millions, yeah. he said it best. If you want to change a country, 
you start with the children. Yes. yes. And you wait till the older generation dies. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what education is. Mm -hmm. That's what education is. Education is putting information into people. Mm -hmm. That's all I think education is. Mm -hmm. And I think what's going on right now is giving us the opportunity to change education a lot. In Trinidad. In Trinidad. Trinidad. In the and, world. Yeah. But I'm speaking about in Trinidad. And one of the one of the things with what is going on now. You're not talking about the legal. I see, I just want to know. And to talk about that recently. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, exactly. I am very sorry. Very well. Very well. Trinidad and Tobago. Very well. <laughs> and one of the things that is going on, the differences that are happening now, is widening the gap. So a parent who takes care of their child, now their child would actually learn faster because they have a parent watching them do online schooling. They're learning faster than any it's school different. could have taught. Mm -hmm. A child who doesn't have a parent doing that, mm -hmm. you are now being inhibited. Way back. Way back. I have some teacher friends and they say that you could tell the parents who do nothing. Their child gives no work at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Months go by and they have nothing, no presentation from the single child. The gap widening. And I think that problem with that widening gap, to add to that as, <laughs> as we keep going, to add to that, absolute poverty isn't a predictor of crime. How poor you are generally isn't a predictor of crime. Mm -hmm. You know what is? Relative poverty. If you have more than me, yes. I want it. Yeah. Yeah. If two are we poor, we good enough. We good, we good, we eating nothing together. There's literally a study where they have some called the Gini coefficient where you could literally map as he get rich and he get poor, crime start to spike. Literally. So what you think is going to happen if we spend years in this no, system? Let's no, pause a little bit. And let's look at mm -hmm. our country. Oh yes. And let's look at sectors and see where to, who sectors started to get richer and who sectors started to get poor and what crime. You are blowing my mind right now because I could put a finger on an election and after the election. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not a show. <laughs> and, but you see, that's mm -hmm. just what I was talking mm -hmm. about with the information. You see how information about a boring study done 30 years ago yeah, yeah. about who poor and who rich yeah. and crime. That answers a specific question about what is going on in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And Tobago. Mm -hmm. Right now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> in this show, Ooh. it is gay. Things get heated. Things get heated. Things get heated. It is gay. It is gay. <laughs> Just as I was saying with the Gini coefficient yeah. and all that, obvious how you could see simple knowledge, something that would have been only knowledge that somebody in a university did answers a question that might be one relevant to me now. And that's why I say that education thing is the would be the third thing mm -hmm. because. What is happening right now in education? As I said, we, if you, you want to see what's going to happen in the future, is the education mm -hmm. system now. What is going to happen to this massive imbalance that we are continuous, continuously creating mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. And it's getting wider, and it's going to get wider. wider. And for example, another example of that, the touchy topic of vaccines. If you have something that pressures people who are vaccinated, the reality is, Whatever your view is on it, the reality is, if you look at who is more hesitant and who is taking it more, you would see a class difference mm -hmm, in it. Mm -hmm. So if now you do something that allows for who is taking it to do good mm -hmm. and your pressure who is taking it have to stay home and do online schooling, because that's kind of where they're yeah, talking now, yeah. the parallel school system. And I understand it's difficult decisions to make, but if you have those people who don't care and who are hesitant home doing online schooling and all the people whose parents care about their schooling are in school doing face-to-face -face schooling, what is going to happen to this group of people eventually? Because they're going to have to grow up. Yeah. Uh, so, and, 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 so where, 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 where are you taught? Where are you taught? Um, who was that? Who was So I, I did some... I am not a teacher. I'm not a teacher, right? And since like in secondary school, when drama now came into the syllabus, wanted me to come on, come on staff and teach. Mm -hmm. And I asked me to come in the school, probably just run on one or two classes, just to see how they did not no kind of qualifications. I could attest directly, right? Yeah. And I remember this guy. 
So that's the show, yeah. And like for nothing you want to come to class. Yeah. For nothing you want to come to class. But like, for what? And I tell myself, I'm not going to put myself in a position that I have to force somebody to be in a class. People in front of me should want to be in front of me. Right? Now, that is a little part of my teaching thing. What I really do is going to schools. Um, after school programs and this study that. and I had an after school program brother in one of these wonderful secured gated challenging communities yeah? and brother this little girl I think I stand at three class right yeah. this little girl I don't know if you know Elmira Name songs from Elmira is sometimes um Looney Tunes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. mash up all yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm not with this little girl. This little girl is like uh, Chucky looking cute. Mm -hmm. This girl is just like, and I'm real, you know, I'm really, really right. Mm -hmm. And I decide after four weeks, nah, I really can't deal with it. I never put nobody out of class. I was like, yo, yeah, I can't deal with you. Go in the office. And she went down in the office, dude. This girl, after school program, right? this girl mother comes into my class and wraps this little girl and put her up on the chest. And if I had to come and talk to you, I would put you on the streets to sell sweetie. It's like, oh my God. Wow. And I am there, and, and she real polite to me, eh? and stand like she and she have, she have a child in her hand, and she lift up the child, jack up, and everybody in the class like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, look for that. How are you doing? No, no, I, I, I real calm. I say, um, she will behave now. She'll behave. She'll behave. And it just makes sense why the child is behaving like this. You're like, I see why. And, 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 and my whole problem with the child changed. And now I started to dig deeper now because this child needs so much more than I'm offering. Yeah. And this is what is happening in our education system yes. that plenty of people don't know. And, and mind you, my girl says she will go on the streets and sell sweetie. But when sweeties run out, what she go and sell us? Reality. And that's the reality. Education in our... Go on with the education. Education. And I think we need to have... A little change, not a little change, a big change to how, as, as, as I was saying before, how we even look at it. Mm -hmm. This pandemic has shown parents at least one thing a, a lot clearer. You are ultimately responsible well, for, for your education. Child. Yeah, yeah, exactly so. You are ultimately responsible. So, from there, are, there are multiple ways you look at it. From the individual side, each individual, I think, start to forget about looking for the school where you have a child and you know from the age of five till they're 21 you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. anything because for example in the u.s right now they're ha they're having a reckoning with that problem because some people are finding that what their children were learning for all those years they don't agree with it mm -hmm. now whether you agree with what with the content of the thing is irrelevant to me the fact is you're a parent that has no you idea what your child was learning. learning exactly so and you have one worldview and your child spent twenty something years learning another worldview. That and they spent the majority of their time in school. Eh? Yep. So so you you come in with a certain set of values and this idea, but really and truly it's what the, it's what the system is yes. teaching them. And that is why so much of our people, trend begonias, are falling so quickly and easily into the system because Correct. the school is teaching them that. Correct. What you want? That's my last question. What that, I want. That, that's my last question. And really and truly, I want something. I want it to be easier to impact Trinidad and Tobago. For, for what bunks are wrong in my head, for what bunks are wrong in your head, to reach to the market so that people could recognize, yo, here's your, I have the power to transform my immediate space. And it has become easier. That's how I. That's how I ended up here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I sat with a with a camera phone, faced it at me under a tree, yeah. and spoke. Mm -hmm. And that is impacting people. There are people. Sometimes some simple things you say, you just thinking about, and you, hey, I figured this out, and you say, yeah. and the message you received of how that impacted somebody else's life, and how specific it spoke to a problem in their life. You're like, wow, mm -hmm. it is having an impact. So. 
I think just as you were talking about the knowledge, the knowledge needs to go out there. Yes. That the technology is out there mm -hmm. for you to impact the world. Yes. And if you could, if you know how to take part in this whole mark, new marketplace of ideas that we have now, mm -hmm. TikTok. Yes. The way I say, y'all know, TikTok is one of the most dynamic apps currently mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because TikTok we is... We go in there. We go in there. But I, 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 I know. I, I, I remember I say, what you said. I said we're not looking for anybody there, but yeah. we go in there. Go ahead. TikTok is still the wild, wild west style of social media, like how Facebook was, what? where if you put something there, it is possible for everybody to see it, and if they like it, they all do it. Now yeah. Facebook have a lot of little traps to yeah. herd you into corners. TikTok still kind of like that. So you drop something there and the world sees it. One of the problems I had with TikTok was when I went on TikTok and I saw the level of content on this app so powerful because I could have seen how powerful it was. And I like the only thing is joke, and underwear less dancing. Right. Like, okay, if that's your thing, that's your thing. You but see underwear less dancing? Yeah. But that is the majority of TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. Oh, well. I can cool. For the TikTok. Okay, cool. That, that, that feature Okay, just... cool. Nah, nah, nah. That's it. We it. And it's like, wow, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. And young people, like, very young people. Right. TikTok is the new app for the younger generation. Right. So when I saw that as a content, I was like, okay, well, it's best I choose something better in the yeah. And I did, and there's some success yeah, there. Yeah. So I think people need to understand that you need to do it. Yes. Bill, what you want for Trinidad and Tobago? What you more individualism? Everyone be responsible for yourself. Think for yourself. Think, think, think. I, I'm coming out of some merchandise soon, and the branding I'm going with is mind. Full, F U L L, as in have your mind full with thoughts. You're pulling, your mind is that part of you that thinks about things, that processes things. Don't, that's not, that's not, don't brush course after no. Tell me what about the merchandise. Uh, yeah, I um, have some hats printed right. and some juices. The idea is just branding, mindful, yeah. simple brand. Right. Mindful. And right. that's the idea that I'm going with. Your aim, the aim is. This is to signal you're a thinking person, if so. Mm -hmm. My mind is processing things. Mm -hmm. I'm mindful, and mindful. I'm a mind. Exactly. And that's what I want for Trinidad. Think of some plenty of the problems we have. Like, I remember my, my mom used to always hit us that line when we, when we give in trouble. Think about it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I want in Trinidad. So, so coming into... The Avery Room in St. Augustine Drama, mm -hmm. drama Club. Um, I can't read too good. Mm -hmm. I, start, I, start, I tell people like up front <laughs> because I'm a, I'm a drama teacher, yeah. I'm a director, and have plays with scripts so thick, and the director can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me get it straight. I can't read too good. Read the read lines from right? Cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, but the first thing I just do. Walk up on your walk, walk, walk up on your board and write big things and underline it. That's the first thing to enter into the mad company. You must be thinking, ladies and gentlemen. Nathan Springer almost forget his name because he pulled my mind for all kinds of different thoughts. Um, his beautiful wife was. His, she thought she was coming here to read, but she didn't read a bit. <laughs> she, she read a bit, yeah. Um, his office will be very really upset, ladies and gentlemen. Trinidad and Tobago is transforming. We are transforming, and the funny thing is, if we transform for the better, or if we transform for the worse, it's up to you and I. This guy is encouraging us. To transform Trinidad and Tobago to the better. I, I endorse your work. I read. I, who is me to endorse your work? I don't know. Who is me? It's nobody. But at the same time, I like what you're doing. You're encouraging me. You're inspiring me. And I would reach out to you. It, it has certain things that I want to do in my mind. Um, certain problems I might want to solve. And we could sit down and we could brainstorm. And we could community by community, individual by individual, TikTok by TikTok, yeah. we need to transform Trinidad and Tobago to the better. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very heated, um, I, want, I, want, I want to highlight one or two people. Um, and that's the interview there, I hope you enjoyed that. 
and you were entertained or informed and I would see you again for the other one.